Out of the, the Michigan game, what do you feel like offensively y'all y'all learn? What can y'all improve from? I feel like we'll just have to cut like most of the penalties down and just, you know, just focus on like the mistakes that we made, like try to work on those going into this next game. Because Michigan game is like, you know, pretty much beat ourselves, you know, like it was more things that we could have worked on, you know, like drop balls, just everything. So I feel like, you know, just get back to the drum board and just watch that film and just learn from it. How is it like playing in the big house? It, it was a good experience. Like never played in front of that many people in my life. So it was a good experience overall. Going into the game, we knew what you and Rajay brought to the table, but we've heard a lot about Javis Spawn the off sprint or the off season. What do you, how do you think he played in this first game? I feel like his first game he showed up. Like he was ready. He had, you know, not many mistakes, but you know, I mean if he did have mistakes, you know, his freshman mistakes, you know, so if we could always correct those, but I feel like he did, you know, a real good job. Like a real good job. Home opener this weekend. Ready? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready. I'm ready to see the doubt again. Right. <laughs> I think there was about as much 20 personnel in that game this past week as there was all of last year. Do you guys kind of <laughs> like being in the backfield together in 20, 21 personnel? Yeah, I feel like 20 personnel, you never know who's going to get the ball. And if you have two weapons in the back, then it's going to confuse them because they don't know which way to go. And so we could play a lot of that and beat people like that. Did you feel more comfortable just having another like a year under your belt playing? Last yeah, week. yes, sir. I felt like more experience and, you know, being that I've already, you know, it don't matter the team we play. I feel like being that I've already, you know, been in some of those situations, I knew like what to do, you know, and when to do it. You guys, as a back video, showed some flashes Saturday, but, there, you know, there wasn't a ton of running room, so you're all looking forward to, to you know, playing more games, really showing off how good this backfield can be. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're definitely working on that. We're definitely working on that. We're going to be right. How much does that competition, you know, kind of drive you all? Because really, I know Coach Houston feels like y'all have three, four starting running backs. It helps us, you know, and we help each other, you know. Nobody, I, like our running back room is huge. So it's just like everybody want to see everybody win. Like nobody, like, you know, if I go, I'm like, okay, I'm coming behind you. You know what you see, let me know what you see. If I go, then Jay Bunn come, he like what you see. You know, we helping each other as the game go on. Is there a feeling that you have, when it is your time on the field, like you have to make something happen, like just because it is split, you know, between three, four guys? Right. You have to take advantage of every opportunity to get because being that those holes were closing so fast, it's like it's only so much you could do. So it's just like you just got to do what you got to do. Marlon, it seemed like y'all ran a lot more gap schemes and zone schemes. Is that something new for the offense this year, just kind of with Coach Mo, or is that a running back thing you kind of brought up? Um. I'll probably say more of a Coach Mo thing. He kind of changed the way offensive line blocked. So it just, you know, opened up more for us as running backs, and we see more. You know. Do you like the power as opposed to the zone? Are you a downhill guy or you like to get out on the outside? Downhill guy. Get out my way. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part of the game today? How did you get ready to do this first game of the year? What's your favorite part? Like pre-game warm-up, like, I just like to go out there and just get my mind right, just play some music and just think about, you know, see myself making these plays and different things like that. What's on the playlist? Music. Oh, Lil Boosie, automatic. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Uh, you can add something to everything, tunnel walk or uh, pirate walk or coming out of the tunnel, uh, something during the game that's also non-football related that you really like. Uh, and the students sing or the NBA. Like the, the Boneyard gets me hype. I like the Boneyard. Like they, um, they, they, they always come with energy. Like, you know, if I feel down about a play or something, I just love it. Like, hmm, that could easily be me. So let me get myself, you know, together. <laughs> How has it been for, for you running backs with two starting quarterbacks? We just, I mean, you practice with them. You know, that's why we practice every day. So you practice with them, just learn them, you know, like learn, you know, maybe how this one might throw or how this one might read or so it's just it's all about you know just working with them and just talking to them communicating honestly all right Marlon, thanks, thanks, Marlon. Thanks, Marlon.